Hi guys, Miss Ree here again. So last week, we discussed emotions. We talked about how certain things made you feel on the inside, how they made you feel on the outside, and then we named those feelings and described those emotions. We talked about ways to calm them and how to reflect on them. So I hope you have had a chance every day to be mindful of your emotions and your feelings and to reflect on them. For this week's activity, you'll need a piece of paper and a pencil or something to write with. You will also need the feeling scavenger hunt. You either got that dropped off to your house or emailed to your parent or guardian's email. So first, we are going to do a little activity that goes over how to recognize people's emotions based on their body language and what they're showing you on the outside. So for this, you can just have your piece of paper and pencil ready and we'll go over how to recognize emotions from the outside. It's important to realize what other people are going through as well and how to recognize the emotions they may be currently in. So it can help you build that relationship with the person or maybe help them when dealing with certain emotions. So first, we'll take a look at this girl. I just want you to take a moment and write on your piece of paper what emotion or feeling you think she is currently going through right now. So if you wrote down scared, terrified, nervous, alarmed, on edge, anything along those lines, you're correct. And you can tell by her body language. Now take a moment to write down what emotion or feeling you think this boy is going through. If you wrote down happy, joyful, excited, pleased, something along those lines, you are also correct. Number three, what emotion or feeling do you think this kid is going through at the moment? If you wrote down angry, annoyed, irritated, mad, furious, anything along those lines, you are correct. Number four. What do you think he feels right now? If you wrote down excited, thrilled, ecstatic, happy, eager, energized, something along those lines, you are correct. Number five, what do you think he's experiencing right now emotionally? If you wrote down worried, uneasy, insecure, anxious, fearful, nervous, upset, sad, any one of those will work. And number six, the last one. This one might be a little more difficult, but give it your best shot. What do you think she's experiencing right now? She's also sad, down, gloomy, disappointed. Any one of those. So as you can tell, there's a lot of different names that can mean the same thing for a feeling, um, such as sad, upset, discouraged. Those all can mean the same thing, but a different way to say it. 
So with that being said, you can play a game at home with a family member, a friend, anyone where you give a facial expression or a body language and you try to have that person guess what you're feeling or what your body language is expressing. So if you wanna try that at home, it's a great game. Um, I've played it with my daughter before. I give an example like this and she has to guess what feeling I'm expressing. All right, so it is scavenger hunt time. So get out your scavenger hunt worksheet, or if you don't have one and you don't have it emailed to you, you can't find it, I'll put this up and you can kind of write down, as, as I show you my answers, what you need to look for either in your house, around your house, a little bit outside of your house, whatever is most convenient for you. So the first one says, find something that makes you feel happy. So Miss Re put, my kids. My kids make me happy. The second one says, find something that surprises you. I put my cats. My cats like to jump out at me and surprise me all the time. They think it's funny, and it is sometimes, but other times it's not so funny. The third one, what makes you feel nervous? So I put the unknown. I know you can't really find that around your house. So another example might be maybe a brother or sister makes you feel nervous sometimes or maybe a certain animal outside makes you feel nervous. Maybe you saw a spider or a snake or anything outside that make you feel nervous. Thunderstorms. Number four, is there anything around your house that makes you remember a certain trip you went on? So maybe it was a souvenir that you got on a trip. I put um, a ticket. So a ticket where I visited somewhere specifically for me was a ticket to the Garden of the Gods in Colorado on my Colorado trip. Number five, something that reminds you of someone you miss. So for Miss Re, I put my grandma's cookie jar. When I saw that in my house, immediately I thought of her and how I miss her. Number six, something you're looking forward to doing. Mystery put, hugging. I'm looking forward to hugging my friends and my family and all the youth again. I know it might not be anytime soon, but that's what I'm looking forward to. Number seven, find something that makes your loved ones happy. And I put food. My family loves when I cook them food. Number eight, find something that is your favorite gift. So something around your house that was given to you that is special, makes you happy, and is just your favorite. I put a garden stone. So my kids last year for Mother's Day made me a garden stone and that's been my favorite gift. Number nine, something that makes you happy outside. I put hiking in the woods. That is my favorite thing to do outside. Number 10, what is your new favorite hobby? It can be something that you've done recently that you haven't done or that you used to do and then you didn't find the time to do anymore until recently. So I put arts and crafts. I've done a lot of arts and crafts recently. Number 11, Find something that makes you laugh. For me, I put my fiance because he makes me laugh all the time, especially on days I'm feeling down. But it could be anything around your house that makes you laugh. Something little and silly to even a person. And last one, find something that you do not like doing. And I put 
folding laundry. Miss Re hates folding laundry. It is my least favorite thing to do in the house. So for you guys, it might be doing dishes, doing a certain chore, anything like that that you can find around your house that you don't like doing. So once you have filled that out or made your list, I would love if you shared your answers with your Smarties teachers. You can email them a picture, take a picture of you with your list or just your list, text it to them, whatever your parent or guardian can help you do. But share your answers with us because we want to know how your emotional scavenger hunt went and how those things made you feel when you found them and you shared them. Until next time, guys, stay safe, stay healthy, reflect on those emotions, and keep smiling. Bye.